Hi, I Aziz welcome you to Codemaster and in this video I am going to talk about this problem. So let's get started. Alright, let's see this problem. We are given an array and our task is to find the longest even odd subarray. First thing first, what does it mean by subarrays? So let's say we have an array 1, 2, 3. Then all the possible subarrays of this given array are 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. So an array is said to be a subarray when elements of that subarray is picked from the given array in contiguous manner. So here 1 is itself a subarray, 2 is itself a subarray, 3 is itself a subarray and 1, 2 appears contiguously in the given array. That is why 1, 2 is also a subarray. Similarly, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. So this is all about subarrays. Now the question arises that what is mean by even odd subarray? So what happens in even odd subarray? It is also a subarray, but it has alternating even odd elements. Let's see this example. Here we have 1, 2, 3. 1 is odd, 2 is even and 3 is odd. So the longest even odd subarrays we get using this array is 1, 2, 3. So basically the even odd subarray, it means that either we have an array whose first element begins from even number, then odd number, then even number, then odd number or its elements begins from odd number, then even number, then odd number, then even number. So far, so clear. So let's understand this problem with few examples. So let's see this example. Here we have array 2, 4, 6, 8 and you can see that all elements are even. So the longest even or subarray of this array is going to be only one because all the elements are subarray in itself. Other than that, we do not find any longest subarray, even or subarray. Let's see the next example. Here we have 3, 5, 7 and all these numbers are odd. So here also the longest even odd subarray is one only because each element is a subarray in itself. Let's see this next example. Here we have 3, 5, 7 to 9. 3 and 5 are even numbers. Here you can see that 7 is odd, 2 is even and 9 is also odd. So the longest even odd subarray of this particular array is 3 and it is formed by number 7, 2 and 9. Let's see this example. Here we have 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. 2 is even, 3 is odd and again 4 is even. And then both the numbers are odd. So the longest even odd subarray of this particular array is 3 and it is formed by number 2, 3 and 4. So by now I hope you understand this problem really well. So let's pause this video and think about an algorithm to solve this problem. Alright, I hope by now you would have written at least basic program to solve this problem. So let's talk about the brute force approach to solve this problem. The idea of brute force approach is pretty simple. In this approach, what we do? In this approach, we simply traverse an array from left to right and then we find all the subarray starting with the current element. And while traversing, we keep track of longest even odd subarray found so far. So this is the simple idea to solve this problem. Let's see the implementation of this basic approach. So here we have a function longest length subarray. This function is taking array's input we are initializing a variable longest length so far is equal to 1. Why 1? Because one element in itself is a subarray. Okay. Then we are running a loop from 0 till less than n to pick one element at a time. And inside of this loop, we are initializing current longest length is equal to 1. The reason is same that the one element is itself a subarray. And then we are again running a loop from i plus 1 till less than n. Why i plus 1? Because in upper loop we are considering this element and then we are beginning the inner loop with second element. So that we can consider all the elements one by one means 3 with 5, 3, 5, 7 and then 3, 5, 7, 2 and then 3, 5, 7, 2, 9. This way we are finding all the subarrays beginning with 3. And inside this loop we are checking if the current element is even then previous element should be odd. or if current element is odd, then the previous element should be even. If this is the case, 
then we are incrementing current longest length by one okay if this condition is not satisfied then we simply break the loop okay and after this loop we are finding the maximum between uh, current longest length and longest length so far and if we found that the current length is greater than longest length so far then we immediately update the longest length so far to current longest length and after the out outer loop we are simply returning the value of longest length so far so this is all about this function now let's quickly dry run this code and see how it works so here we have an array we initializing longest uh, length so far is equal to 1 and the loop begins the value of i is equal to 0 in first iteration we initialize current longest length is 1 the value of j is 1 that is 0 plus 1 is 1 and we check if 3 is 5 satisfies this condition or not and it is not so we simply break the loop it means we do not find any sub array starting with 3 that satisfies this condition so we move on to next iteration in next iteration the value of i becomes 1 again we initialize the CLL to 1 our j becomes 2 this time so we compare 5 and 7 this time again it is not satisfying our condition so we simply break the loop it means there is no sub array beginning with 5 that satisfies this condition then we move on to next iteration for the next element the value of in this iteration the value of i becomes 2 we again initialize the value of CLL to 1 now j becomes 3 now we compare 2 and 3 and this time the condition satisfies that if the 7 is even then 2 is odd so we increment the current longest length by 1 so it becomes 2 so the inner loop moves to next iteration now this time the value of j becomes 4 and the value of CLL is 2 so we compare 4 with 3 right and again it is satisfying the condition so we increment the current longest length by 1 it becomes 3 so after this uh, iteration we come out of the inner loop and we check if our longest length so far is greater than this or not and this time it is not greater so we update the longest length so far with 3 so the outer loop moves to next iteration that is i is equal to 3 so now we are going to find all the sub arrays beginning with element 2 right so we initialize the CLL to 1 j is equal to 4 we compare 3 and 4 and this time it satisfies the condition so we increment the CLL by 1 go to next iteration where value of j is 5 but the index of 5 is not a valid index but the index 5 is not a valid index so we come out of the loop and we compare ls uh, and we compare longest length so far with CLL but this time this uh, our longest length so far is the maximum value so we keep the longest length so far as it is and the outer loop moves to next iteration where i is equal to 4 j is equal to 5 again the 5 index is not a valid index so we come out of this loop so in the last the 3 gets printed on the screen so basically the maximum even odd sub array present in this array is 3 and that is formed by the elements 7 2 and 9 so far so clear now talking about the time complexity of this function as you can see that we are running two loops outer loop is running n times and in worst case inner loop will also run n times so we can say that the time complexity of this function comes out to be big of n square and in this function we are not using any auxiliary space uh, uh, other than the input array or some few variables so we can say that the space complexity of this solution comes out to be theta of 1. So hopefully this approach took big of n square time and theta of 1 constant space to solve this problem. But the question is can we do it better? Can we reduce the iterations? Can we reduce the time complexity? Think about the cadence algorithm. Can we use cadence algorithm here to solve this problem? Let's observe the given array and think about the cadence algorithm that how we can use cadence algorithm to solve this problem in big of n time. Alright, now let's talk about the efficient approach to solve this problem. And this efficient approach is based on cadence algorithm. So the idea of efficient approach is pretty simple. We have to simply traverse an array from left to right and instead of finding 
all the subarrays starting with the particular element we use the idea of cadence algorithm to find all the uh, possible subarrays ending with particular element and along with the traversal we keep track of longest length we have seen so far and the current longest length and after each iteration we simply compare current local length with longest length so far and if we found that the current longest length is greater than longest length uh, we have seen so far then we immediately update the value of uh, longest length so far to current lo longest length okay so this is the basic idea let's quickly see the implementation of this approach so here we have a function longest length subarray this function is taking array as input we initialize two variables longest length so far to 1 and current longest length is equal to 1 and we simply running a loop from 1 till less than n and in this loop we are checking that if the current element is even then the previous element should be odd if the current element is even then the previous element should be even and if the current element satisfies this condition then we are simply increment the value of current longest length by 1 and after this we are comparing ll so far and current longest length to update the longest length so far based on the maximum value of ll so far and current longest length and if any element does not satisfy this condition then we are simply resetting the current longest length to 1 and in the last we are returning the value of longest length so far so let's quickly try run this code and see how it works so we have an array 3 5 7 2 9 we initialize longest length so far to 1 and the current longest length to 1 our loop begins the value of i in first iteration is 1 okay we check if 3 and 5 satisfies the condition or not and it is not satisfying so we reset the value of CLL to 1 and we move on to next iteration in next iteration the value of i is 2 we check if 7 and 5 satisfies the condition it is not so we reset the CLL to 1 in next iteration the i becomes 3 we check if 2 and 7 satisfies the condition or not and this time it does so we update the CLL to 2 it means we incremented the value of CLL by 1 and along with it we also update the value of LLSF means longest length so far to 2 in next iteration the value of i becomes 4 again we check if 4 and if 9 and 2 satisfies condition or not this time it does so we again increment the value of CLL by 1 and at the same time we, we are updating the value of LLSF. So in next iteration the value of i becomes 5 and we get out of this loop. So finally the 3 gets printed on the screen and this is the maximum even odd array present in this array and 3 is equal to the longest length of even odd sub array present in this array and this sub array formed by the elements 7 to 9 so far so clear now talking about the time complexity of this function as you can see that we are running only one loop from 1 till less than n so we can say that the time complexity of this function is big of n and we are not using any auxiliary space so we can say that the space complexity of this function is going to be theta of 1 so this approach took big of n time and theta 1 constant space to solve this problem all right before we end this video let's have a quick recap of what we have done so far so in this problem we are given an array and our task was to find the length of longest even odd sub array to solve this problem we saw the brute force approach and that approach took big of n square time to solve this problem then we saw the efficient approach based on cadence algorithm and this approach took big of n time to solve this problem and by now you have a good understanding of how to find longest even or subarray in a given array so this is it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video